are taking action alert tonight. Petersburg police are warning folks to be vigilant online after a scammer has been impersonating their animal care and control shelter. 8 News reporter Devon Reynolds joins us in the Digital Center with more details on how exactly this happened. Devon. Well, Eric, whoever is behind this Help the Petersburg Animals page has scammed people out of hundreds of dollars posting pictures of animals that people are saying are simply not there and they spent their hard earned money. Now, I had a chance to speak with one of those people who says she fell victim to this scam. The page seemed absolutely legit. Samantha Casey and her family lost their dog back in February and hadn't planned to get another dog. But one day she was scrolling through Facebook and came across the Facebook page. Help the Petersburg animals, where she saw a couple of dogs that had caught her attention, but she noticed something fishy while looking. I talked to my husband. He was like, "Well, it seems legit, you know, but at the bottom there was something that stated, in order to see these dogs, you have to pay a deposit of two hundred fifty dollars." Casey sent the money to this page, never receiving the dogs that had been advertised. Police say others have also fallen victim to this scam. Animal rights activist Jill Navari says she's a victim too. It was her legit Facebook page designed to help people adopt dogs from Petersburg Animal Control that was hacked after she says scammers reached out to her from a fake email. I got an email from Pet Finder, which I now know was fake, um, saying that I needed to link my Pet Finder, my Facebook account to my Pet Finder account. From there, these crooks gained access to multiple pages the very runs to help people get pets. Friends of Henrico County, Virginia Animal Control, Help the Petersburg Animals, Bully Rescue and Advocacy, all taken over by scammers. One of those pages having close to 10,000 followers. I asked Navari if she went to the police about this. I don't, I don't know that they even would care if I walked into a police station and said I was hacked on Facebook. Navari says she's now locked out of her own pages. The locators on them now saying that they run that they are run out of Nigeria and Maryland. She's now created a new page, but it's not as nearly popular as it once was. Now, as for the money people have lost, Navari says she can't do anything about it. Navari also says she reported the pages to Facebook, but they haven't been shut down. Police are asking anyone with information to contact crime solvers. Live in the digital center, Demond Reynolds, 8 News. A lot of